So a lot of people talk about mission statements, which I think are great. So for me, the first step is what I call a, a system of perspective. And I think there's like there's two component parts in that because a lot of people wait for inspiration or think that inspiration will stay. So they go, wow, like I want to be able to feel this all the time. The example I use again, because my background is fitness training, I always use this example with people. You, so the alarm goes off, it's 5.30 in the morning, it's a winter's day, it's raining outside. Scenario, two scenarios, yeah? Scenario one, person wakes up, lying next to his wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever it is, warm, cuddly, alarm goes off and they hear the rain, they go, she. Then they remember what their commitment is and they get out of bed. But getting out of bed for that person took something. It wasn't like, oh, wow, awesome, 5.30, dark rain, let's go. Scenario two, exactly the same thing. Person wakes up and they go, oh, you know, it's warm in bed, it's raining out there, I'll get to it. So I always say to people, like that distinction is, again, moment by moment and understanding that it takes something called a commitment to do what you're doing. Then that comes from this place called, okay, what am, I committed, what am I committed to? So not what do I feel like, but what am I committed to? And that kind of leads me into, I guess, what I would call my system of perspective. So I'm going to share my screen, if that's okay, for a moment. And I'm going to show you that because I think it's a good way to um, understand it. This is what I call my system of perspective. And I've divided it up into terms of what we do at Evo. And because again, I, you know, whenever I, I give this workshop to people or to our trainers, we talk a lot about how it, how it plugs into evolution and work. So the green section is the stuff that pertains to our business, but really it pertains to any business. So, you know, uh, business plan, long-term 90 day plan, your marketing, marketing and comms plan, your annual forecasting. So all the elements that go into your business planning, that's on the one side. On the other is things that just, again, over the years have really worked for me. So I'm going to give you, get, you know, just broad overview given the time frame. Um, I'm very happy to embellish on this for your guys if there's interest post the conversation. But there's basically five core tools. So one is obviously, you know, mission statement. The other is, I think it's a very, very cool exercise. Just, you know, we call it, you know, your bucket list of the 100 things before I die. But anything where you can just brainstorm the 100 things you'd love to do. Another very interesting one is called life in service, where you literally talk about every single person in your world and what you can do for them. It gives you an amazing sense of who you are and what you want to be in the world. Then understanding what your core values are. And really that's effectively a way of being. An integrity checklist, which is all the stuff in your world that's out, that's undone. So anything from you know, out of shape, tax not done, uh, bedroom untidy, whatever it might be, just a brain dump of those things. And then I like to differentiate, you know, lifestyle goals from, from mission statement because sometimes people's mission statements can be a little bit um, uh, qualitative, basically. So I, I always say, okay, if you're going to, you know, create a mission statement, awesome. But just think about the elements that are effectively measurable. So the lifestyle goals around everything from, you know, savings, personal finances, holidays, you know, what you want to do with kids, um, your own development, et cetera, et cetera. Then we do all those things. And we basically, it's like we put them into a funnel and all of those things feed through a funnel and they go into what we call our control bucket. Um, but that, that there is our system of perspective. Sharing, did that work technologically? Yeah, that's brilliant. That was